Hello and welcome back to Trains, a new era. Thank you very much for joining me in this video. And today we are going to be looking at uh, 3D Zugs. I think it's 3D Zugs US ATC S160 steam locomotive. So that is available on the train store through the affiliate link in the description box below if you want to... If you do want to be purchasing this product after you've seen this video, please do go check out the affiliate link in the description box below and I would really appreciate a purchase through there which will go straight to the train store, the official train store, and you'll be able to purchase it from there. Uh, priced up at $19.99 US, uh, so that's $20 US dollars, $26.77 Australian, uh, 16 euros 70 no, 16 euros 91 cents so that's in Europe, uh, 25 Canadian dollars and 73 cents or 14 pounds 81 British at the time of this uh, recording. So that's obviously going to change as the currency rates ch change. The only one that's going to stay the same is the US dollars, which is $20. This is compatible with Trains and New Era SP1 and Trains and New Era SP2. So, with 3D Zug, let's see how good 3D Zug's products are. I'm going to read out the description from the, from the website first, then we're going to uh, roll off a few specs for these trains and or for these locomotives, then we're going to see if we can take one out for a bit of a spin. So, on the website, this is what it says, I'm just, just going to read off there. Go back in time, drive an almost forgotten age, an age where clocks were ticking differently, where hectic rush was just was a foreign word and a steam engine was a symbol for strength, speed and innovation. 3D Zug's US ATC S160 steam locomotive of the United States Army Transportation Corps guarantees you pure nostalgia and excites you with fan fantastic detail using the most modern techniques to generate the original locomotive visuals. In addition, a realistic and fully functional cab awaits you, whose age and experience can be seen and felt. Many more details like realistic sound and an energetic fireman are waiting to be discovered. This pack contains two versions of this unique steam locomotive, as well as one session for Kickstarter County route. Treat yourself to something special. Sniff the air of yesteryear and drive one of the locomotives built in great quantities in days gone past. Features US ATC S160 steam locomotive in two versions plus tenders, as you can see on the screen in front of you. Fully functional cab, realistic sounds, realistic visual appearance and animations. An animated fireman, support for winter looks, snow, ice for months January through March, and one session for the Kickstarter County route. So that is basically off the website. I would say that this doesn't seem to be up to the spec, or at least it doesn't on the surface seem to be up to the spec of the Zekrel products. What I do like though is, and this is why I've picked the light snow and picked this in January, look at that. The snow textures really are quite nice on this train. It's not everywhere, it's just on some areas, but that would make sense because the snow would have melted off all of this. It would be in these in the areas where it seems to be. That's where the snow would have piled up. So let's have a nice look at this at this train. Have a look at the visuals. As you can see, we've got two trains. One I've just stuck a, a passenger consist on just, just to give it some looks to see what it looks like. But the one that we're going to be trying out and driving today is going to be this one right here with the freight carriages. Now this was designed for Europe. Uh, if I remember if I remember correctly, this was designed uh, it was a this is a consolidation class, I think, for use in Europe during World War II. And it was a heavy freight operation. So this isn't a heavy freight train, clearly. But this was designed for heavy uh, heavy freight operations, definitely. I think 2,100 or just over 2,100 were built. And they were, they were used in Africa. They were used in Asia. They were used in Europe. They were used in South America. They were even used in the United Kingdom. So this was designed during the 1930s, built between 1942 and 1940. 46 so sort of during the latter stages of the world war um you know 19 1942 they would have pro probably been ready late 1942 so you're talking about 43 44 45 is when they would have been in in operation throughout the yeah throughout the configuration uh throughout the war sorry the configuration of this is a 280 as you can see so the the front gears are 
pretty pretty small the leading gear oh sorry the, yeah i suppose the leading gear the leading wheels the driving gear so the driving wheels are fairly big i think twice the size roughly of the leading and then there's none at the back there's no trailing wheels uh, the length of the train including the tender is 61 feet and i think the wheelbase is just over or just under 52 feet so yeah the driving wheels i mean each one of the driving wheels is a five foot oh, sorry four foot nine in diameter and the locomotive weighs 161,000 pounds uh, if you want that in kilograms that's just over 73 tons uh, the tender weight is 115,500 pounds which is just under 52,400 kilo so 52.4 tons just under 52.4 tons and it could it could uh, carry an additional 20,000 pounds of coal so there you go i'm not going to go too much inf into the information for for the steam engine like that um we're just we're just going to have a look at this as it as it were i think 26 of these are still or preserved i think 26 of these are preserved the rest of them were all scrapped uh, 800 of these locomotives were uh, constructed between 1942 and 43 and then shipped over to Britain and I think it was Alco uh, Baldwin and Lima so Al Alco is obviously the uh, what's it what's the name of them the American locomotive company so that's Alco uh, Baldwin we all know Baldwin very very famous company and Lima so I think not this one yeah not this one this one oh no actually this one as well both of these were built by Lima. You can just read Lima there and Lima there. This one looks like it's more in the war wartime livery. This looks like a post-war livery, honestly, with the with the gold and yellow accents. This is all black. This is a much more wartime livery for for certain. So yes, they were built by Alco Bald Baldwin and Lima, and then they were shipped off to uh, the Great Western Railway depot in Ebuvale, near Ebuvale in Wales and uh, the London North Eastern Railway LNER works in Doncaster where they were completed uh, over there by by LNER and uh, Great Western Railway and then they ran on the LMS Railway, the LN, LNER Railway, the uh, GWR Railway and I think the SE Railway or Southern Railway, sorry SR, the Southern Railways so they ran along there and then after after the war after d-day or something they all went back and then they got shipped off to to uh europe after that so uh something like another 400 of them yeah so, something like 400 of them or something so 1200 of 200 of them i think ended up in the united kingdom uh, a bunch of them were used on the united kingdom railways and then they were shipped off to europe or or something like that so yeah a very very well known train uh, works differently to a standard British locomotive, so I think they did cause a little bit of trouble for, for the British engineers not understanding how these steam engines worked as opposed to obviously our class A3s, A4s, A1s, whatever different trains we used, our tank engines, our tender engines, uh, etc. But anyway, that's a little bit of information about this train. Now we can get into having a look at this train in, in a little bit more detail in trains. So first of all, I have to say that the texturing is pretty well done. A little bit blurry as you get closer, as you can see. I would have liked that to be a little bit clearer, but it's not too bad uh, at all. We can also go over here and we can change the properties of these. And as you can see, we can load up the cold, we can load up water, we can change the running number. If I just go to... Uh, come on. Give me an automatic running number. I tell you what, if I change that number, maybe... There you go. We'll use that. 793 and then we can probably change this to run 793 as well so there you go now we're running 793 so you can change the running number as you can see this one's running 997 but this one's running 793 uh, pretty good you can see all the little spurts of steam coming out from all the various air, uh, areas this looks a little bit repetitive I must admit as you can see you, you can see the re repetitive nature of that but it's not too bad all in all I think it does it does the trick Steam coming out the funnel looks good. It's a separate color. You know, you can see it's a more grayish color. And yeah, overall it does look pretty good. It does definitely look pretty good. So yeah, quite happy with how it looks from the outside. Maybe take that to use as a screenshot or something. 
there we go and now let's go on the inside in fact no first before we go on the inside no horn no horn on this one what's about this one now that has a horn why does this one not have a horn that's interesting I wonder if it's just I wonder if it's just bugged out I have noticed that sometimes you get bugs there you go it was bugged out the buttons just bugged out that's all but there you go it does have the same horn so both of them have the same horn which is a pretty pretty good horn uh, taking a look around there's our animated fireman not the greatest not the greatest quality but really that's not what it's about honestly I think maybe we could have done without especially considering his shoes so we could have probably done without that animated fireman uh, this up here looks interesting there we can open that I think no yes we can there you go so that can be opened I'm I'm noticing a, a couple of can you see those those two seem to be see-through is that the same is that the same Ooh, that's not what I wanted to do is that the same on this train yeah there are there are a couple of see-through I don't know if anybody else can see those in in the video but there you go look at those two what what's that what's that all about I've also noticed the interior and exterior models do they match up look that's open right now that's open but it's only open half if I close that it's still open so no the interior and exterior models also do not match up I'm finding that interesting I don't even know what they are um, I'm not sure what half of these things are in here because it's not actually giving me the tooltips right now but that's okay uh, I know this this is definitely the regulator and that's definitely sorry this is definitely the reverser and that's definitely the regulator that to me looks like the brakes that looks like the independent wait that tells me that's the sanding lever that looks to be like the locomotive uh, sorry the train brake am I correct that is the train brake that looks to be like that's the independent that is the independent brake. Good. Okay, so we've got that. That's all water valves. Um, fine. What else do we have? Those all turn, but it doesn't tell me what they are. So I'm not going to touch them. Uh, we're on automatic fireman, I believe, on this train. Let's go over to this train. And this one doesn't have an automatic fireman. Maybe this one will tell me a little bit more of what I need to know. Right, let's release the train brakes let's put this that's in full forward no I don't want to press that what is that I want to select this that's what I want to select there we go alrighty we're good what about this does this open it does okay just standard standard noises uh, that's a little bit low poly but overall, we're about to find out what it's like to drive for the next few minutes. So let's take this along for a drive. I do like the textures and normal mapping, though. That's pretty good. I like this right here. I like the, the wooden effects. In that, in that sense, it's pretty good. Uh, let's top up a little bit of coal in here. Like so. We've got very little water. Right, okay. What's that noise? I have no idea why it's making that noise. Maximum water? I have no idea. I don't even know if this train is going to move right now. But we're going to try anyway. So let's put that regulator forward and hope this train actually moves. We've got no pressure in the steam chest though. No pressure at all. I don't know what that is. Okay, slightly concerned. This train is not going to move because there's no pressure in the steam chest whatsoever. How about this train? 
This train has very little pressure in the steam chest. Is that going to be enough to get it moving? I doubt it. Okay, so why do these have... Have they just been sitting too long? So that's a concern, because I'm not too sure now how to actually get this um, working. Let's close that. So with no pressure in the steam chest, how am I going to get this train moving? What are these? I mean, it's like I don't have a way to get pressure into the chest. Tell you what I will do then. Now I'll do this. I will go to user rules and see if we can just bring this into easy mode. Then back into real... Nope, not going to happen. All right, we'll leave this in easy mode and then we'll just uh, get the train. Yeah, we can get these trains moving now. All right, we can now get these trains moving. Let's select this one. Because I don't know why... If anyone can tell me why suddenly we've lost the... Um, oh, this is interesting. I can't seem to switch this one into easy mode. That one's in easy mode. This one refuses. Interesting. Very interesting. Okay, let's just go with this one then. It's not the one I wanted to go for. But let's... Uh, Let's get, we want to get a listen. We want to have a listen of what it sounds like. We've got the bit bell as well. There you go. It's got a bell. Sounds a bit odd. Horn is standard on it as, you, as you'd expect. Headlights, it seems to have three variants. So dim, bright and full. So we've got running lights. Uh, bright lights and some sort of high beam lights, maybe. Alright, let's have a good listen to this then. Oh, some noises have stopped. Now, I can't tell you why suddenly it's the steam pressure's gone. I couldn't tell you that. We are accelerating away. In easy mode, unfortunately. So we're going to continue along. Get a, we're going to get a good feel for the uh, for the sounds of this train, if not the dynamics, unfortunately. I tell you what, I can't hear. I can't. I can't hear the running gear very loudly. It sounds like the running gear is very quiet. So we've got the bogey noises, you can hear that. But I can't hear... The chuffing noise. Can you guys hear the chuffing noise in the background? It's very quiet. I'm not sure why. Now, this could be... This could easily be down to a bug uh, just in trains for now. That's not what I meant to press. So yeah, this could be... What's it like inside? Still very quiet. No steam in the steam chest, clearly. Those two have still... Odd. We'll try and go back into uh, realistic mode in a couple of minutes. I just want to... See what this, this train can do. I mean, you can, you can just about, you can hear the chuffing, but it's very quiet, which is odd. I like the animations, good animations all the way around. So that's pretty good. The smokes uh, that are coming out of the cylinders, okay, fair enough. Maybe I can shut those off. Is there a way to shut those off? 
I don't think I can touch anything in here. This is an interesting uh, map, by the way. I might have to have another look at this map. I think it's somewhere in the Milwaukee Railroad. Okay, let's try and go back to realistic now. Nothing in the steam chest. Why do we have nothing in the steam chest? I don't understand. What's happening? Is the water... Is it the water valves? Are, is there something wrong with the water valves? Can somebody tell me why we've run out of steam? So look at... This is the first time I've found a steam engine that's actually run out of steam. Just like that. And I can't work out... Why? Is this a... Is this a bug in... In game? Is this a bug in the engine? That once it runs out of steam, you, you're done for? But there's not much I can... I can do. And again, on the outside, we just don't have the sounds. Hmm. Very interesting. Very, very interesting. I'm, I'm, I'm very confused as to what may have happened. And now, obviously, now we've done this, the train's going to keep moving now. Hopefully. Okay. Well, that's an interesting look. If anybody's purchased this product already uh if you guys could let me know whether this whether this is a, a bug that i am only encountering or whether this is a bug that's uh that you've encountered too Ooh, hello because is is this a hang on can i hear the chuffing sounds again no they're still very quiet and i'm just not sure what's happened here so if anybody could tell me what what exactly has uh, gone wrong there, please let me know. But uh, can I recommend this product? Well, I'll tell you one thing. I think if this is a bug and it's fixed, I think it's a very interesting product in terms of I like adding more steam engines and I like this particular steam engine. It's quite, it's quite interesting. This steam engine is actually quite interesting. Uh, it doesn't seem to have uh, a manual or anything that comes with it, at least not that I've seen. It's very highly detailed on the outside. I think inside it needs a little bit more detail. A couple of bugs, like I said, up there, with some semi-invisible um, controls. I'm not sure what that what that's all about. Can't see a speedometer either, but I really like the, the uh, scorch marks. I like the bubbling of the paint over here towards the boiler and uh, so on and so forth. I think that's really well done. Um, the running sounds, if the train's supposed to be this quiet, okay, but I, I really don't think it's supposed to be. I, I do think that that's some sort of a bug, but it's definitely not, I, I have to admit, it's definitely not uh, blowing me away like the Zekrel one did. The Zekrel train was something very, very different. That was very, very special, I think, uh, and I think that has set the bar and this falls short of that particular bar that's not to say that this is a bad train because I'm, I'm sure it's not a bad train at all we're just having a bit of bad luck with it i might come back to this train later on but for now that is going to be uh my review of it so you know that that's what i think it, the train is like it's um it's okay i think it's okay uh, i'm sure i can get it working eventually but for now, I'm just going to say, if you want to purchase it, please do go check the link, uh, the affiliate link in the description box below. Thank you very much for watching. Don't forget to hit the like button if you like the video. Subscribe to the channel for more videos on trains, a new era. Leave a comment in the comments box below letting me know what you think. And plus, more importantly, if you have purchased this, let me know if you've got this working, if the sounds are working correctly for you. And if the steam chest is not just, well, it, does, it just doesn't run out of steam. Which is, it's really, really odd that it just ran out of steam. Uh, because I didn't do anything, and I'm pretty sure I wasn't letting steam just uh, escape.
But uh, I don't know. I don't know. Maybe I'm having the same difficulty that the British engineers did, uh, trying to trying to have this train going like uh, a Class A3. Who knows? Who knows? Don't forget to support me on Patreon, www.patreon.com slash ecgadget. I would really, really appreciate your support. It would really help me out, allow me to uh, create more of these videos, create better videos, longer videos, so on and so forth, even if it is just $1 a month that you wish to donate. Ooh, that's a very bright light. Oh, that, that works. There's a good way to end it. So those lights really do light up the area very, very nicely. I think that's about everything from me. Apart from, don't forget to also follow me on Twitch, twitch.tv slash ecgadget. Now it really is everything from me. Thank you very much for watching once again. And I'll see you guys next time in Trains, A New Era. Let me know what train you want to see next or what route you want to see next. If you ask politely, I'll, I'll be sure to try and give it a go. I'll see you guys then.